My name is Maeve Canelli with Belmont Wellness Coalition, and today on News Now, Lisa Gibilario, MPH and Public Health Educator at Wayside Youth and Family Support Network, offers guidance on why the HPV vaccine is recommended for teens and when it should be administered for maximum benefits. So Lisa, we know that pediatricians recommend teens giving the HPV vaccine, but can you tell us a little bit more about the importance of this? Sure, thank you, Maeve. So the human papillomavirus, which is what you're referring to, HPV, is a sexually transmitted disease, meaning it's spread by sexual activity. Some strains of HPV cause genital warts, others cause cancer, specifically cervical cancer. So the HPV vaccine protects against both of these. It gives the body a safe way to build up HPV immunity. Can you tell us a little bit about the HPV vaccination process? Sure. So the vaccine that is used is called Gardasil 9, and it has been approved by the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. Um, and what's recommended, Maeve, is that People younger than 15 are encouraged to get vaccinated with two doses, and those doses are given six to 12 months apart. For youth who start the vaccine series later, like 15 or after 15, three doses are recommended, and that would be over a span of about six months. So it's also important to note that research has been done and has shown that receiving the vaccine at a young age is not linked to earlier starts of sexual activity. I'm also wondering if this vaccine causes or poses any health risks for teens. The most common side effect, quite honestly, is a sore arm at the injection site. So Gardasil is considered extremely safe. These vaccines are required to go through years of extensive safety testing by the FDA before they're both approved and licensed. Thank you. What would you recommend um, saying if a parent were to say, oh, my teen doesn't need this, they're not sexually active yet? Right, so that question comes up all the time. And what I emphasize is that the vaccine works by teaching the immune system how to recognize this virus. So your own immunity, your own immune system will learn how to build up antibodies. The process of doing that needs to happen in advance of an exposure, not after an exposure. So in other words, if we wait to vaccinate until teens are already sexually active, the risk of exposure will exist for them because the immune system won't have had a chance to do its work in building up antibodies. And is there anything else parents should know about this vaccine or the process? Well, just that if, you know, we kind of punch the highlights here today, Maeve, but if they have more questions, I would uh, totally recommend that they reach out to the pediatrician with those questions. You know, the, the pediatrician will be able to answer their concerns and should be able to provide more detailed, helpful information. Awesome. Thank you, Lisa, for this information. And this has been a News Now Health Update.